it's hard to tell where things are going, but it the thing the only thing that freaks me out about it is how fast the development is. Like how quick things are changing. Yeah. Just even in just in our lifetime, you know, thinking about from the eighties and nineties to the two thousands to the now, twenty twenty five like where things are. And I feel like we're about to turn a major corner with AI and nanotechnology and like all this stuff where it's gonna be like it's gonna be weird, I think, because we're gonna I think the the end is we're going to be dependent on it. Yeah. It's just going to be one with us. It's like, I mean, where do you go without your phone? Yeah. Where do you go? Like, you don't need, we've talked about this before. Like, we always joked one day they're going to have a chip and you're going to put it in you. And and that's actually real too. Nobody goes anywhere without their phone. Like, no. When I forget my phone occasionally, I kind of, I have a panicky feeling. I'm yeah. Like, oh, man, where the fuck? Oh, dang, it's at home. Okay. Even if I know exactly where it's at, I know it's perfectly safe. I'll see it in a little while. There's still a feeling of like, what if yeah. something happens? Yeah. And so, yeah, it is your little life in your pocket right then and there. Yeah. It's, and and I've, I've heard a couple of people say this, but instead of being scared of AI taking jobs and taking over the world, we should be much more scared of all of our fucking fragile <laughs> data in these places that are totally vulnerable. Yeah. To people being able to hack in and get a hold of your shit and your identity has never been more digitalized than it is now. You know, somebody can take you yeah. digitally in so many different ways. 